Hello everyone, it's Serpent, and in this video I'll be showing you this cool elevator. Uh, it's a llama vader, <laughs> so you climb on top of the llama, and then you push the button, and you go up. This is about 150 blocks, by the way. Not sure if you, not sure how well you can hear me above the pistons. Uh, but um, there we go. And now that I'm at the top, uh, I just get off the llama and he falls back down safe and sound into the water. And if I want to go down from the top here, um, I just hop down and fall, and then I get into a minecart at the bottom. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, first, I want to bra brag about how great this uh, top thing is. You can see that it's pretty much exactly flush with the floor, which is pretty cool. Some Most uh, elevators you have to build a little hut for. Uh, you can, of course, see that there are the blocks here and here and the tripwire, but that's not too bad. Uh, bragging done with, uh, let's drop down and you can just see that we land in the water and you can hop into a minecart and get out. If you're wondering how this works, it uses uh, this mechanic where uh, this, this was introduced in I believe 1.12.2 uh, and you can you can now in 1.12.2 uh, push a button and have a piston push you up, up a full block like that. And uh, I, I, by the way, did not discover this, um, and I didn't even, well, uh, yeah, I didn't discover it. Uh, I saw it personally on a video by Doc, Doc M 77 uh, Measure, I, I think, Measure something, hold on, I'm, I'm going to have to put a caption up at the top for that one, I don't remember it. Sorry, Measure, <laughs> um, if that's your really real name. Uh, anyway, uh, and Il Mango. So, uh, also, this little trick I saw in their video, you can, uh, <laughs> actually, I, I built this wrong. Uh, you can put a uh, two pistons like this and an iron bar over there and have it push you up two blocks since you just push up this one, same way you do over there, and then this piston, the second one, pushes you up on top of the iron bar. So how this works is uh, instead of just uh, a stationary the, this thing that you're pushed into, uh, like over here, the, in, in order to get by, uh, you have to push the, um, the iron bar tower over and then push yourself up it, um, and, then push, and then have another one over here, uh, extend like that. Um, and then be pushed up this one too, um, and you need to retract them all afterwards because uh, otherwise you get stuck on the one above. Um, so that's how the uh, actual me mechanism works. But since the uh, the player isn't tracked, uh, the, the player isn't tracked as well as llamas are, so you need to um, ride a llama up it instead of it, instead of just being a player and riding up it, uh, because it, otherwise you glitch through it about halfway along or so. Well, uh, depends how big the elevator is, obviously. But you can see on this little uh, representation, uh, actually, this one doesn't work, sorry. Uh, you can see that on, yeah, this one works. This little representation over here, uh, you do survive, <laughs> you do get all the way to the top, but over here on this big one, uh, which I have apparently only just begun to transfer into a, a llama vader. Um, it doesn't work so well. Uh, you can see that uh, I basically just glitch out of it. Um, and that it, that's solved by using a llama. Let's see. Yeah. So the llama doesn't uh, doesn't do that. The llama survives. The llama gets all the way up to the top. <laughs> uh, so now, let's figure out, or <laughs> now, I'll show you how to build it. Before we start, I should note that the, uh, the design has essentially a 4x6 uh, blueprint. Um, there are a couple bits that stick out, right here, and I, th uh, yeah, right here, and then up at the top, there is a, a bit that sticks out this side. But the vast majority of it is uh, fits does fit between that uh, four by um, six area. 
and then of course it's however tall you want it to be. Also, before we move on, uh, I would like to show it to you with the uh, llama just sitting there without me. Um, that's what it looks like. You can see that the... Uh, <laughs> it's getting away from me, but you can see that the uh, the pieces of the... Um, of Well, <laughs> they're gone now, but the pieces of those uh, um, iron bar towers and the, the pistons that push them you can see that they're moving back and forth doing uh, what I described or <laughs> you could if I could um, capture a better camera angle but there you go uh, you can see that the uh, iron bar is getting pushed forward and then these are pushing the llama up it to begin find the uh, spot where you want your llama to stand that's going to be of course uh, particular to your base and then you want to place a couple blocks here and a block and blocks there and what you what you need to, what you need to make sure is that this uh, setup here does not allow a llama to walk through it so that can be trapdoors, uh, slabs, sideways facing stairs any of that sort of thing um, just so the llama can't escape then you want to go to the back here and you want to go up one, two, and place a temporary block there, and break those, and then you want to grab yourself an observer, or two rather, and place them facing like that. As always, they're going to be tricky because they're inconvenient. Um, a button on the face, either wood or stone, it doesn't matter. Then from the uh, block that they're facing away from, that must be a solid block, you want a repeater, set to four ticks, into another block with some redstone on its face and then into that uh, and then from that a block right there put a torch on top of there and two blocks just like that with some redstone along there and stop them from meeting up then you want to put that into another block and then torch and torch and that's uh, where your torch tower is going to start uh, I'll get a little bit more into that before we uh, stop this clip then you want to, uh, you want two pistons, just normal, right there, and a uh, block there, and then either iron bars or a, or glass panes, or, well, an iron bar or a glass pane right there, then a sticky piston and another right there, and then you want to go from this torch and this torch, you want to grab block, block, and there, two redstone dust, no repeater on that side. On this side, however, you do want a redstone dust and repeater set to its default. From there, uh, you want to um, go up from the iron bar, place pi a couple pistons, and then over on this side, you may begin to see a pattern here, uh, <laughs> you want to place another, I'm having real dif difficulty here, you want to place uh, a couple pistons like that, both sticky, and then on their faces, that same block iron bar setup. Quick correction. Uh, oh, I'm in survival. Uh, this block here needs to be transparent as well. That one. That one needs to be transparent. Otherwise, sometimes the llama can be... Um, <laughs> the llama can take damage, and sometimes so can you. Uh, so just keep everything damageless. Make the block I destroyed there transparent. From there or uh, from the block tower, the torch tower, you want to go on top of this one and place a few blocks going diagonal, uh, actually just two, and then you want to uh, place torches on, <laughs> not there, you want to place a torch there, and a torch there, and another one there. From here, a block with a repeater on top, set to default, and from over here, just redstone dust. That's the uh, uh, actually, that's not quite the bottom section done. Then you want to go. You want to go over by these observers, and down a block, p place a dispenser, and then make sure that there's uh, no space over there for the red for water to get into redstone, because right now we're going to be placing some water, just like that, and an empty bucket inside. What you want to happen now is uh, when you push this button, that should happen. Notice that the water gets retracted uh, just long enough for the pistons, the second round of pistons to activate. Just like that. 
So at this point, uh, we're going to start building the middle section. And I should mention that the blocks uh, directly adjacent to the um, <laughs> llama pen, the center where you're going to be going up, they should be uh, transparent mostly or uh, all because otherwise you can take some pretty serious suffocation damage because the uh, llama can occasionally stand so that your head's in, in the side of the wall which is a little bit inconvenient but the uh, I suppose the llama knows what it's doing. Um, <laughs> from the, uh, the torch tower now uh, you want to link it up and this should be um, just moving on from where you left off uh, torch tower wise um, and this is going to be what triggers all the all the side pistons essentially so you want to place torches just like uh, you would in a torch tower sideways and back and forth make sure they're all facing to the block above uh, and then on the side on this all along this side uh, you want to place torches then uh, you want to go over to here um, and place block a block there and just make sure that you've got that same zigzaggy uh, slime piston, normal piston uh, alternation set up. Uh, whoops. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't working. Um, grabbing the wrong piston. So then uh, continue that up just until your torch tower stops, which should be um, a little bit below the um, spot where you want the elevator to st stop. I'll uh, get to that in a moment. Um, and then do that on the other side as well. Just that same zigzag, double piston, double uh, slime piston um, setup, all facing inwards. And on the bottom, uh, on the face of the bottom slime pistons, just place a block. And then on the f on the face of the top slime pistons, place that same iron bar to make that setup. Then from the uh, torch tower, this is all pretty simple now. Nothing too convoluted like down below. You want to place blocks there on the normal pistons on the left side, and then blocks over here, uh, over here, on the slime pistons on the si on the right side. Uh, on the left side for the slime pistons, you want to place blocks leading like that, uh, like I have over there, just one of them I guess, um, and then a block there uh, on all the normal pistons on the right side. It's a uh, <laughs> a little bit um, confusing there but hopefully uh, I explained it not poor, not too poorly. Um, redstone on all the tops of the uh, blocks leading to the slime pistons, nothing special there. And on the uh, normal piston ones, you want to connect it up with a, bi a bit of a repeater thrown into the mix, uh, just pointing into, into the uh, normal piston at the end there. And then of course, the uh, same repeater <laughs> just on that one block on the right side. So at this point, if you uh, grab yourself a llama, which I know is a little bit difficult in um, <laughs> in survival, then just so long as all the blocks along the side here are taken up so that llamas can't squeeze through, um, the llama, um, hold on, I don't have a save toolbar for the llamas, the llama should uh, sail all the way up. Of course, it's a little hard to push the button if you're not sitting on the llama. Uh, this isn't going to work. Uh, so now what you want to happen, um, if I can hit the button this time, is that. The llama will either go up on the uh, second time the pistons fire, or the first. Um, that's why we need to retract the water, you see, because when it's bobbing the wrong way, it won't uh, go up. Sometimes it'll go on the first one if it's... Uh, if it was down at the time, if it was at the bottom of the water when the uh, thing activated. But by the time the second one goes, the water's all gone, and the uh, llama will go straight up to the top. Um, so, again, that's just that. And he shouldn't take any uh, damage on the way back down. Uh, <laughs> here we go again, because of that water we placed. So, now we're going to build the top, the uh, dismount station. And the floor where you dismount will be here. Got that? The um, floor will be here. This is the floor, people. Um, I'm saying it over and over again because I have a timestamp earlier in the video, and people will probably skip here. 
Uh, and if, I've, if I only say it once, then they'll miss it. The floor's here, people. This is the floor. Okay, this is the floor. Floor here. That's the floor level. Okay. Just trying to be helpful. Probably annoying, though. Um, okay, so you want to make a little slot around the, uh, and the exit uh, at that level. That's the floor level. Um, <laughs> and then... <laughs> So now the uh, dismount station, you place a block there, and a block there, and then you connect them up with tripwire hooks, uh, and string. And then, uh, below this one, you can place a block, and a redstone dust. And then on this side, uh, you want to place the same block and redstone dust, except that from here, you need a, uh, another block down there, with a redstone repeater, a block up, block down, and a slab over here with a repeater there and some dust there. Uh, you can make this block and this block redstone lamps if you want. I think that looks pretty cool as well. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, uh, as long as they're solid, of course. So now what we should have um, is a working elevator. Uh, if we, I suppose, um, oh, I did manage to tame the llama. Okay, um, so now that should that should uh, happen. You should you should have a fully functional um, elevator at the at, the, uh, at this point. So of course, uh, when you when you climb up with the um, with the llama, your head gets stuck in this trick bar, and the uh, two block the blocks down there get extended. The pistons extend those and themselves. And the llama gets stuck on top until you get off when it fall and then it falls down. So that's uh that's about that. And hopefully this video was useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.